When you hear the word cladding, you probably think of Grenfell Tower. But if you live in a block of flats, whether it's public or private, and perhaps even only a few storeys high, well, you too could be affected by potentially dangerous types of cladding. Your home could be impossible to sell until it's made fire safe. Jessica Ewell has more. End this housing crisis. Do what's right. Are you here? End this housing crisis. A protest outside Westminster this week. And remember the 72 people who perished in Grenfell Tower. The government hasn't faced up to the full scale of the cladding crisis. A national problem with London the most affected area. Now it's believed there may be thousands of tower blocks in the capital that could fail to comply with newly introduced fire safety regulations around cladding, insulation and fire protectors. £600 million has been set aside to address the problem of ACM cladding, which was named as the principal cause of the Grenfell Tower fire. But the government has so far declined to offer any further financial assistance to help buildings at risk from other suspected materials. This is trapping leaseholders in potentially dangerous buildings and rendering their properties completely worthless. We've met families who are at uh, the wit's end about what to do. These are families who are stuck in a building they can't leave because they've been redlined by mortgage companies. These are couples who want to start family and have children but they can't do so because of the uncertainty. There are people on the brink of suicide because of the stress caused by the debts caused by things outside of their control. I met with one leaseholder in South London who didn't want to be identified. She has cancer and wants to live the rest of her life without people knowing about her illness. People have feelings of desperation and some people have suicidal feelings and are close to having complete breakdowns because of the worry and stress of being financially ruined. I suffer from an incurable cancer. The deterioration in my health has been as a direct result of the stress. I feel that if the government don't act immediately to bring this crisis to an end, more lives will be lost and the government should be held entirely responsible for that. Sarah, how many leaseholders are affected on your patch? Do you know? I mean, it's, it's potentially a huge number, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a lot. And as Shadow Housing Minister, we've done a lot of work on this. There's about 25,000 um, people in London who are in blocks that are covered in Grenfell-style cladding, uh, and about nine in ten private blocks uh, still are covered in that Grenfell-style cladding. But, of course, as your clip shows, this problem goes much wider now. There are a huge number of blocks in London that are covered with cladding that we don't yet know whether they're um, going to be have to be taken off or not. The government promised over a year ago to uh, publish, uh, to, to test all these different kinds of kinds of, flam uh, of cladding and then publish the data. We haven't seen the data. So what's happening is mortgage companies now are taking fright and are, and are not um, uh, lending to people. Are not So people can't sell their flats that they're in. So they're in flats that may be dangerous, may not be dangerous. They may have to pay for removal of cladding. They may not. Um, but the whole market is coming to a standstill. And, because, and, and just you know, to be clear, I mean, Caroline, as well, that, that, you know, this affects not just people in public blocks but private blocks they just don't know necessarily do they absolutely. whether they are this, affected this, or not. this absolute tragedy for so many individuals who are living in a property it might have been their first step on the housing ladder to be in a flat and suddenly find it's got cladding they are you know their flat is worthless they can't sell it they're facing potentially huge bills yeah. They're worrying at night whether it's safe to sleep in their own home. They may have to be paying for fire wardens to patrol their block to make sure they're safe. You know, this is really worrying. And actually, we've got to put aside who is ultimately to blame here. We need money from the government to make sure everyone can live in their home safely. We can sort out the details afterwards, whether it's the freeholder, whether it's the leaseholder. Let's make sure everyone's safe and learn the lessons, not just from Grenfell. We also had Lackanor House in Southwark, my home borough, where there are huge issues to learn from that and nothing ever came of it. We need to make sure we learn from this? Well, Sean, I mean, one suggestion that Robert Jenrick, the Secretary of State for Housing, should enshrine in law that freeholders uh, pay to make high-rise buildings safe, and there should be some government funding for this. I think the first thing to say is Grenfell cannot be allowed to happen again. I, it's where I come from, so I was born, and the devastation it had on the community, you're talking about irreparable damage. So the, the first thing I think needs to be done, we need to understand which cladding is dangerous or not. That process must be gone for and it needs to be sped up. There is no excuse for slowing it down, it must be, be sped up. To enshrine in law, I think um, the Robert Jenner will have to have a serious look at that, because ultimately, unless you get a, a complete 
solution, your life is in limbo in a very serious way and it, need, it needs to be answered. There's no way around it. The Should the government put money into this and make sure that they will compensate people for any work that needs to be done? Yeah, the, the first part, that's why I say they must look at what is safe and what isn't so they can understand how much money they're going to need to put in it. The £600 million clearly is a start. I do believe there's going to need more money, probably significant amounts of money, but the first point is to understand what is dangerous so you can start to understand just how much money you need and so you can give people some resolution without knowing what's going to happen will my flat be worth anything who's going to help me pay that that level of limbo is not sustainable for people's life it has to be dealt with yeah i mean this is this is an industrial scale mm. crisis and the government has just uh, pledged four billion pounds i think for the flood damage which has caused chaos for people's homes this is the same scale of, mm. of crisis and we're nearly three years after grenfell and the government have completely failed to get a grip of this problem and people are really suffering and it's going to carry on increasing until they get a grip, put some funding in and sort this crisis out. OK, well, this uh, one obviously is going to be watched closely uh, along with the Grenfell process.